Welcome to the Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke. Today I'm going to be replacing the door handle on this 1997 Lexus ES300. Thanks for joining me. I have actually started work on this project a few times. Uh, it kind of keeps getting pushed to the wayside when other projects come up. Uh, most recently, I did film back in November, and that was a battery replacement on this vehicle. Uh, however, it was right when I purchased my Jeep and I started that project, and I did a battery replacement video for that, so it's like how many battery replacement videos you want to see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm waiting on parts for a couple other projects. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started on this one. And today we're getting that door handle on the driver's door replaced. As you can see, the door handle on the driver's door is broken. Um, there's a little bit left to grab on there to open it up, but it does need to be replaced. Uh, there's a little bit of body damage around it. I think this car probably struck a deer or something uh, I'm not sure just based on some damage kind of down this driver's side I think it probably hit some type of an animal not really looking to do all the body work but I do need to get this door handle replaced and the first thing I need to do is actually get this door panel off um, and there's just a couple of screws on here and then some plastic clips that hold the door panel on so I'll go ahead and get that started, get the door panel off, and then we'll get to that door handle. Now I haven't had this door panel off on this car yet, but there's a screw that's behind there, and then there's a screw behind there, and you take those off. Um, you also have to remove this panel. It looks like it may have already been taken off of here, but uh, you need to remove this so you can unplug your power window switches, power lock switches. Um, but yeah, once you get that off, then the rest of this door panel will just pop right off. Okay, so I'm gonna start by using a screwdriver to pry this open. And right back there is a Phillips head screw, so we'll use a Phillips screwdriver to take that off. All right, so then we'll take this little cap off of here so we can get to the screw that's underneath there. And that actually also has a Phillips head on there, so you just unscrew, and it was not on there very tight actually. So that just comes out like that. got this tool here that I'm going to use to pry off the panel. Um, you have to do this carefully so you don't break the tabs on it. The camera keeps getting in my way. There we go. And there we go. We got these wires to disconnect. All 
right, then we need to remove this speaker cover. Then we'll be able to remove the door panel from the door. There's actually one more screw inside here on the door panel to remove. There we go. And then that should be all of them. One thing I forgot to do was actually remove this piece here. And uh, you do have to pry the top and bottom in there just to get that off. And then this pulls out. And then this door panel will come off. All right, we have to unplug some wires here for the light. So we just need to pull this back. As far as that'll go. And then there is a service panel right here that will open up. And we should be able to get to the door handle. On this side, there's a little rubber stopper we gotta pull out. And I think the other access point is in here, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll see when we get there. So I don't know if you can see those metal bars that run up and down there. There's some yellow clips on it. You have to take those clips off and then those disconnect from the handle. And then there's just two bolts to unbolt the handle and then we can pull it out. Take that off. Oh, that looks like it's just a sticker. Very nice. I should be able to get in there then and unbolt it. And then the other one is right there. Pull this out. All right, so I didn't have that little bar all the way pulled out. So now that I've got that out, I was able to remove the old handle. 
And now I just need to unbolt the lock mechanism there. And then the lock mechanism is going to go on the new door handle. Uh, the handle's not a perfect match, but it's as close as I could get, and uh, and it'll work anyway. So I just need to slide that in there. Alright, and before I put it all back together, let's see if this thing works. There we go. Perfect. Actually, this is pretty nice. And the door handle doesn't match, but it's close enough. I mean, it's a 97, no one's gonna care. So we'll start by putting the access panel back on. Then we'll get the vapor barrier back on the door. Then we'll just get that door panel back on and get everything put back together and it'll be done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank you for watching The Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke, and I'll see you next time. Ooh.